The Christ the King varsity football team cannot be stopped so far this season, but despite all the early success, the Royals have their eyes set on a deep playoff run. Through the first seven games this fall, the Royals are undefeated, including statement wins over Fordham Prep, St. Francis Prep, and Nazareth. Under second-year head coach Jason Brown, the team has enjoyed a sustained competitive run. Well, a lot of it was discipline and structure, so most of the sophomores that came up, they became juniors. I had them when they were freshmen, so they know the system a lot better, and we were very uh, deep with a lot of juniors. We had about 11 seniors. So they bought into the system and it worked out very well. He brought in a whole new coaching staff, changing the program around. He brought the, because he went here, so he brought that same mentality that he had when he was playing, brought it here, and that pretty much worked. Christ the King has relied on its powerful rushing attack and strong defense to rack up the wins this season. Defense win games. You know, they're helping us out this year, giving a big push on the on pressuring the quarterback. And, you know, they do their part, we do our part, and that's a victory. I feel like we have the best defense in the, in the league. We, everybody's playing hard, I guess. The whole team is just um, buying into what Coach Brown has to teach us and stuff like that. A lot of teams can't run on us. They can only probably, they can't even pass us. I feel like we got the best defense in the league. Now that we're coming to the end of the regular season, we know what that means. The intensity is going to be even higher. And the Royals appear eager for any upcoming challenge. The Christ the King team has made it a point to not look too far ahead. And that same mentality will continue in the playoffs. We definitely take it one, one game at a time. Try to dominate every single week. Every single week, that's how I go to dominate. In the summer, we worked harder. Our coaches, they pushed us much harder. And we just, we just knew it was coming, so it was like, we were going to take what's ours and nothing about it. While, of course, the team is out to get victories, the values learned on the gridiron will also go a long way for these student athletes. Well, a lot of these young men became great men because they go to a private school and we, we instilled structure and uh, still a lot of discipline. And it's, going, it's, it's starting to show now because when they first came in, the losing was a cancer. And now that we're winning, they're starting to buy into everything. The biggest thing is buying in and discipline. Once you have that, you, you can sky's the limit with your kids. One of the key terms that we had for this coming season was just teamwork. You know, we all bonded together during camp and the offseason. And, you know, we just wanted to, we're so tired of losing, we just had to come together and win. If the regular season is any indication, this year is about to get much more memorable for the Royals. And all they have to do to continue this magical run is to stick to what has gotten them here in the first place, a commitment to excellence both on and off the field. Reporting for Currents, I'm Jim Mancari.